Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Cams and Farm Let's Play. Hope you've all had a good week. Today we are doing a mismatch as usual. Um, I need to get a sprayer to fertilise our grass fields, which is probably the most urgent thing to do. We also need to get some lime onto field 25, so we need to get some a spreader. So we might end up buying both. Uh, then I'm looking at getting our cows this episode, which will involve some equipment as well. So yeah, I think I'm just going to head down to the shop. I'll drop my front weight just in case we get a sprayer that needs a tank on the front as well. So I will quickly blitz down to the shop and then we can have a quick look to see what sprayer we're going to get. So that's that the shop, we'll just nap in. Got to check the sale items first. Okay, um, that is a very good deal. What size is it? 16. I'm pretty sure I was looking at a cheap one before, which was 12. Was it that? No, it's not that one, that's too big. What what version is it that we've got here? Because I... Yeah, so that's the one I've looked at before. And it's 12,000. Ah, it's one of these ones. Okay, so I think is it that one? No, it's this one. Okay, I think... Yeah, we're going to have to buy that. We'll keep it on our New Holland, because it's probably going to be on that one anyway. So we'll, we'll buy that and leave that for later. <laughs> we'll now need to go to our sprayers, so we can't afford the self-propelled ones, as good as they are. So that's the Yan one that we've had, the Yan spreader. So it's 152, which is a lot cheaper than the rest of them. Um, but we just, yeah, we don't have that money. It does look like a really cool machine. So we are looking at the trailer versions or hitch hookup. So we're kind of just looking for something that's got a decent sized boom. Um, running speed as well. Like all of them, I think, are quite slow for sprayers. So we'll just have a quick gl glance kind of through everything. That one might work. The John Deere's 28 is 52. I think we're going to go with the Fernland, if that is how you pronounce it. Yeah, let's buy both of these. I think we've got to make sure we get the bigger boom arm. Which does make it more expensive, but it'll be worth it. Weed spot spread, I'm not bothered about. It adds about 40,000 on, which, um, yeah, is a bit mental. Um, you get a little bit of boost for your uh, precision farming, but we're not too fast about that. So I think we'll go with this setup. Um, while we are here, should we just look at spreaders as well? We'll have a one-stop shop. Let's go with the bright and brightly coloured one. Let's get that as well. Right, so we're all bought out and we've bought everything we need in one go. It's like the way I like to shop in general. So we'll hook up to the sprayer. I'm going to bulk buy some fertiliser at our farm in our bulk tanks because it is significantly cheaper to do so. And then we will get to spraying our grass fields. So I will get back to the bulk tank and we shall get it filled up and then get this filled up. So I decided to change tractor just because this tractor is probably more suited to do spraying than our big case. Our case can get hooked up to the um, 
spreader. Maybe this can get hooked up to the spreader as well. Um, but as there's nothing on the field, the case will be fine. It's just a big heavy machine. I think this is just better suited. Uh, lighter, narrower tires. Much better for the job that we're going to be doing. So, if we come here, we can't obviously get that volume, 50 odd thousand, 40 thousand, whatever it was to fill that there. Um, but we can get 5,000 litres for 6,600. Now, in comparison to the shop, so we'll quickly jump onto the shop screen. The liquid fertiliser is 3,200 per 2,000 litres. So they can see that the price is significantly cheaper um, with that. So that is why we are bulk buying and getting it on the farm. So this looks like it's going to take quite a while to load. So while this is loading, I will, I think I'll just nip to the shop with the case and bring the spreader back to get loaded with lime. So this is back at the farm with some silly manoeuvring. I got a pallet caught under my tractor. Um, this is my best moment, shall we say. So I'll just get this top up, which should get three of these in if they're all... Oh, I somehow took the one from far away there. Okay, we are full. Which is perfect. Um, and I'll just get this reversed up and parked away for now. Because we're going to come back to this. Once we have, that was not a good angle there, Craig. Yeah, we're going to come back to this once we get the spraying done. Spraying is priority because the grass is at stage two out of three for getting cut. So I just really want to get it done and dusted. Okay, that is it full. So we can go to the, I think I'll do the cow field first. My only hesitation with this is I'm not sure how well we're going to see where we've been. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But we will be able to see where we've been because we have the awesome new map feature. I forgot about that. I don't want to open this into a fence because then you get stuck and it is not good. Oh, that is quite large. Okay, so we can hit start and we are off. This is going to take no time at all. It is very slow, seven miles an hour. I wonder if it can actually like go faster in real life. Whenever I see sprayers on the fields around us, I don't think they're going, like, super fast. I don't think they're going at, like, 7 miles an hour. This is, like, so a double walking speed, I suppose. It's hard to gauge, isn't it? Oop, clip the wall. Do that off and reverse and back. It's covering a lot of area. That is great for us. I think the spreader was, with the giant spreader, was probably faster um, just because it was going at about was 11 or 12 miles an hour and then the spread on it was technically wider than this. I'm going to stop that there just so we can get into this corner. But we are, um, spreaders are just cheaper by nature it seems, obviously they're not the moving parts, but you do spend more on fertilizer. Because you go through a lot more. Like we've used hardly any liquid fertilizer and we've almost finished this field. Uh, shall we get the rest done? I'll say speedily, but we're going at seven miles an hour. I don't think anything is actually that speedy when you're going this fast. 
Well, we won't get any speeding tickets anyway. Okay, first field ticked off. So this field might be a bit more challenging, just with the whole... It has a lot of walls around it feature. So I need to be wary of those. Wary of the sheep as well. Well, we're meant to be wary of the sheep, but we have run them over with lawnmowers, balers, tedders, you name it, we've run them over with it. And they've survived, so I don't think the sprayer's going to do them any harm. So we have to make sure all gates and things are closed when we're using this because I've crashed into, I think I've crashed into about two gates now so far. 28 metres I think was more than enough um, for this, these size of fields that we have. Might be saying I wish I'd have got a bigger one for the uh, larger fields that we've got, but for these small ones this is perfect. So that's us almost done two fields now and we're still at, what, 88% fill there? So yeah, it does go far. I had to kind of miss a bit behind the sheep's feeding trough and things. So they didn't get fed any chemicals, fortunately, um, but that bit will just have to be missed because I, I can't get to it, essentially. But it's only a small bit of the field, so it's not a massive loss. We are getting most of the field done pretty easily. The other field next to this, field four, should be the easiest of all of them due to the fact it doesn't have tons of walls, it's more open. Yeah, we'll get this folded up shortly and go to our last field. So it has been a very quick endeavour. So I need to remember this time to close the gate when I get in. Because I think I've crashed into it every gate on every field so far. Oh god, it's even bigger than I always I'm I'm totally underestimating the size of this boom arm every single time. Are we now stuck in the fence? Oh no, we're just stuck against the fence. So yep, that's every gate on every field. Don't think there's a prize for that, but if there was, I'd have won it. So that is us done with all the spraying. It's a very good sprayer. Um Decent width on it. It's just the running speed. It's yeah, pretty slow. So I'm not sure how it's going to deal with the bigger fields at that speed. Um, I'm going to probably look later and see what they actually run these in real life. Just to see if we do look at altering the speed slightly. Because 7 seems rather slow. Especially when a lot of the um, self-propelled ones are operating at uh, double digits. So yeah, we'll look at that. But for now, we shall just get this all parked up. I think I might just leave the sprayer attached just now. I think we will need the front loader onto this vehicle soon, but I'm just going to leave it like that and then we're going to jump into the case. So now we're going to do some lime spreading. Don't think the 7000 is going, going to go very far. However, we will just get on with it. We have to. I think I'm going to go and do... Shall we do a round first? Let's do a round first. Ooh, that goes a lot wider than I ever thought it would go. Wow. Okay, that's very wide. I always underestimate how wide these things go. I am doing everyone else's feels for them. Um. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the 7000 is not going to go far at all now that we're getting rid of so much at once. But no, this is good, it's doing a very good job. 
Brilliant spreader. I did like the Yan one. I think it was the aesthetics of it. The fact that it had a big tank. It wasn't as wide firing as this. It had a lot bigger um, capacity. Which was probably a benefit for big fields like this. It was also, yeah, a good 50% more. So we're just under, just getting to 20% actually now. We've done maybe, I don't know, halfway around the field. So yeah, this is going to take quite a bit of uh, lime to do. So that's just out of lime. We, we, we've maybe done half the way around with the uh, 7,000 that we had. So I'm going to go to the shop and get more. So yeah, we're going to have to think of a solution because I think trucking it's going to take us quite a while if we only got halfway round with 7,000. I'm not sure how many more loads we would need. There is a rough calculator that I have. But it's not designed for the precision farming, so I don't think it will give us a good number. Um, so I think it's probably not even worth looking at, to be honest. Um, but yeah, if we have to get the trailer here and load that up, that might work. But I would have to check to see if we can load from the trailer. So park this up and then we'll get the trailer brought down. Just to see if it actually works. Because there's no point in filling the trailer up and then uh, realising when we get to the field we can't do anything with it. So I came round to the main farm because the trailer was at the cow farm. So I'm loading it up here uh, and then we'll take it down to the shop to see if we can get it into the spreader. If not, my other solution is to, I think we can store this in a silo, hope we can, because then we could store it at the cow farm silo and that is, it takes like half the journey off. So we won't have to truck back to the shop, we can literally just truck back to the silo if that makes sense. It's just to try and cut down on the time. Like I know all of this time sort of fanning around is probably taking up just as much time as it would have been to truck it. But it's, uh, yeah, for future as well, because we're not going to just be doing this once. We will be ending up doing this a few times. So my experiment didn't work. I now have a pile of lime on the ground. Um, so what I tried to do is just fill it from the trailer. It didn't work. There was no trigger. It didn't do anything. Um, I dumped it on the ground because I thought, oh, maybe we can fill it from the ground. No, it, it doesn't work like that either. Logically it wouldn't, but I just thought, you never know. So I'll get filled up with um, big bags here. And then what I'll do is I'll fill some into the um, trailer as well. So we'll buy 16. So we will use it and we'll just store it in our silo. I think that is the easiest um, way to crack on with this. So I'll get all that done and then I'll get back to the field. So um, yeah, our silo doesn't take lime, which I should have checked beforehand. Kind of silly. Um, so now I think I'm going to have to buy a lime silo for the farm. Which we were going to get at some point. I just wasn't expecting to have to get it now. So this is the one we were going for. I think I'm just going to try and put it in this in the area we don't use. That'll do. Oh, this is unexpected cost, but it does mean we can fill it with our accident material, which also has a full bag in it. Don't ask. <laughs> We had a bit of a nightmare. I need to speed back up time. It was taking that long that I uh, slowed down the time as well. So we'll get this tipped and then we'll get back to doing what we should have been doing before 
created a mishap. Okay, so we are back in the case and we are back finally spreading. I'll zoom out to actually see where we're going. Um, I'm hoping we can get around to join this up with this load. Hopefully, anyway. Yeah, I, I messed up there massively. I thought we could put it in the silo. No. Thought we could load it. No. There's just like no way. So we might have been better going for the yarn with this bigger capacity. It wouldn't really meant much because we just got a little bit further. Like we're going to need a lot for this field because it's very poor. The other fields we we'll try and keep in check a little bit better. So yeah, we we'll just have to take the hit at the moment. But yeah, I was uh, trying to be smart when we should have just thought logically about it. But now we have a, a lime silo that we're going to be getting. But we got it a bit sooner than expected. <laughs> We've spent a lot of money this episode. So much money. So yeah, I'm just going to get this all cracked out. And I'll we'll see you once the field's done. It's finally done with the lime spreading. I had to buy more lime um, from the bulk uh, lime tank that we bought. I think it's about 10,000 I had to get, which we didn't really use all of it, but we were just a bit short what we'd bought. It did take a decent bit of time, but not too bad. The spreader's nice and wide, so it's um, yeah, it makes quite light work of it. Capacity is not bad, it's just it's, it's 7,000 and it's a big field, so you just go through it quite quick with a wide spread. Yeah, we're finally done with that. So we'll get this dropped off out of here. And then we will, I think we'll take the New Holland with the front loader to the cow farm because we're going to be getting cows. Finally. So that's the front loader hooked up. I'm going to get down to the cow farm. Need to quickly work out whether we are better off just buying them and getting them delivered or renting a transport for them. I think with the amount we're getting, it's probably going to be cheaper for us to just um, pay for the delivery. But let's see. So we're going to get some of the Holsteins, or Holsteins, however you say it, because we're going to be doing milk and cows. I am just going to get them at this, I know it's more expensive, but I'm thinking if we just get 10 just now, just cost us 1,000. I don't think we'd be in the time it would be any cheaper. If we get 10, I don't really want to have too many cows. I think we're going to maybe have about... 25, maybe 30, max. Um, I just don't want to have too many to look after. I think we'll, we'll want to do other things with uh, our farm. But they will be bringing us another source of income, which is good. So yeah, if we start with 10, then we can get a few calves off them. 
Um, yeah, we'll just buy that now. Right, so now we need to go to the menu part to see what we need to give them. So we're going to give them food. I'm not sure about giving them straw because we have to buy another piece of equipment, I think. I don't know if we can just put bales straight in. Um, we can try it and see. Um, but for now, I think we'll... Oh, we'll need to go and get the um, food mixer. That's what we're forgetting. Right, I'll go and quickly get that and I'll be back. Okay, we're back with our feeder. Now, I think this is 16,000. Yeah, this holds 16,000. Um, and now I need to do some maths with the bales. Okay, so the math is done. Um, it's going to be annoying for the different sizes of bales we have because that's a slight issue. Um, essentially, to get the mix, uh, I want to put in six and a half thousand or six thousand four hundred of silage. Um, and we have seven thousand litres would be two bales. So we might end up going heavy with silage as opposed to the um, hay. Because so what I'm thinking is we're going to be making silage anyway and there'll be 6,000 litre bales I think with the square baler. So then we'll be lighter on hay, blah blah blah. So we'll see what happens. I think we can, yeah, so we don't have to tip it all in. We can kind of stop it, which is good. So we'll see how well we get on with this. Okay, so this one we need to try and leave 400. I'm doing everything, I'm steering like a lunatic. See how good we get at this. Oh, see that? You can't teach that. That's, that's just like instinct. People are probably going, why did you not just put it all in? I don't actually know, I should have just put it all in. Um, right, what are we doing next? Hey, we need hay, we need a full bale, a full bale and then a half bale. I'm like trying to concentrate so hard, I'm like trying like to not... Um, make an absolute arse of this. That's why I'm not really speaking much. This is literally using all of my focus to try and do this. That's how bad I am with this uh, front loader. Right, this worked the last time. So I need to put in, I need to leave two and a half. Again, just can't, can't teach it. Just instinct. And then the rest is just going to be made up of what we can get of straw. My steering is horrific. I apologise for anyone watching. Um, yeah, I'm not very good. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, yeah, I'm not. Now, I'm not putting the mineral feed in. Um, I'm not sure if it makes any difference or what difference it does make. I'd love to know if anyone actually does know. Um, in other playthroughs I've done, I've not done it and it's made no difference to the cows whatsoever. So, we'll see how much the cows actually take. But what I'm thinking is I might take this out and back it in and then we can just leave it right next to this. And then we can just bring the bit. There's plenty of room, even for me, to get the bales in here. Okay, so taking a good bit. So we bought 10 cows, I would imagine we're going to have to do a few trips. It just depends how much this um, farm stores. So we have a quick look here. Oh, we're barely making a dent. Yeah, we're, go we're probably going to have to do this for quite some time. So what I think what I'll do is I'll get this load finished. I'll get it turned around and then I'll just get loading up. And I will... Yeah, I'll check back in here when I'm all done. So that is the last load I just put in. Um, the last load I'm going to do. It's now half past six again. 
dark outside, as you can see. Um, we have put 95,000 litres. We did have an accident. <laughs> I did try and time lapse that, but I was moving the camera around so much that it was, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be any good. So you'll probably just see the start of it in the end. Yeah, we've got a good amount in. Um, I'm not sure if that will last them. I'm hoping it'll last them a long time. Um, what I've seen before is it's about four and a half thousand TMR per full grown cow. Based on that, that's like two years worth. So I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. Um, we have used mm, 40% of what we have. So yeah, we've got a good bit left kicking about. I'm just going to leave the straw. I was going to try and put the straw in to see if it made a difference. Um, I'm just thinking we'll need to do like um, manure spreading and we can just stick with slurry. So I think we're just going to leave it at that. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly sleep and then I will just make sure that the cows are okay in the morning and then we'll wrap up for the day. Just get this under cover. Put down our forks. Lights off. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. So it's looking like a very nice autumn morning here. We'll just come and see what the cows... Oh, it tells us on the bottom there. So the health of them is at 100%. We'll go to this screen just because it's better to see. It's a nicer visual. So our productivity is at 100%, which is perfect. So that's without straw. So yeah, there's no benefit to doing straw unless we want to do manure and we're not too fussed with that at the moment. Um, and our food has, yeah, obviously barely been dented, seen as though they just put it in last night. Our cow health is 100%, which is ideal. And they are, yeah, 10% on the way to making more cows for us. So we might get more cows, but... As you can see, my money is rather low at this moment in time. So I think we'll just leave it at the 10 for now. Um, they will obviously make more. So I think we'll, we'll maybe put a cap on it. But our, our, day, our day costs are approximately about 10,000, just with the fact we're leasing fields. Um, so we do need to make sure that we have money for that. So we're not going to last many more days with what we've got going out. So we do need to kind of review um, what we can sell. And if we change the greenhouse to store in, so then we sell at a better price. So that's a couple of, and we've got some wool as well that we need to sell. But we'll look at that in the next episode. But for now, that will be us. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. You can subscribe as well if you want. I do also live stream Farming Simulator on Fridays and Saturdays over on Twitch and on YouTube at the moment. So yeah, come and check me out on Thursday, uh, Fridays and Saturdays, sorry. Um, yeah, so thanks again and I'll see you next time. Bye.